Well, hey there. How you doing? I'm going to give this a shot. I was having a little jam. I opened up the next tune. Hi, by the way. My name's Paul. This is Plan Z. Um, this is the Holloway Sessions. Let me just tell you about that quickly first. Uh, this is going to be a short video, hopefully. We've been getting to a point where we can get relatively good audio into the phone via a Roland Go mixer, a Yamaha mixer, a uh, and a Mackie mixer going pre-loopers. Um, and then before the Mackie, we've got the gear. And the gear is a Nord 3P, an Octopad. You can't really see them at the moment. You, you can in other videos. Uh, there's a, a Boss GT1000 going into a... No, HXFX going into Boss GT1000, 5 cable method stereo. And then we've got the uh, the vocals here on the V500. I'll just put a little phaser on my voice. I was playing with that. So where we're at is mid-jam. Um, I've been recording some parts in. I opened up the next tune. Um, and uh, these are the levels. And what we're going to do over the next session, I think, if I remember right, I, I hope this is session four. I've got a... Oh, I might be able to type something in that tells you if I get it wrong. But this should be session four, and there'll be different parts of this where I um, get the levels right and get it to a point where I can start looking at the arrangement and start working out how I'm going to arrange it um, because we've not been looking at arrangements yet. And when we're doing this opening up a mix phase, which is what we're doing today, um, we don't play an arrangement. We're just jamming parts to see what happens. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoy. I'm going to press play. That's nice. We know, we know, we know me. Okay, so my delay from running shoe works. Gonna bring in. Right, so I'm just gonna lose that delay a second. Um, I've recorded a backing vocal and I wanna play it live. I've done them the wrong way around on the RC505 because I wanted to be able to come back down to the raw bass which is on track one of the RC300 down here. So I'm just going to bring in the backing vocal and a guitar will come in with it. That guitar is on the Boss GT1000. We know, we know, we know, we know. there's the backing vocal. The backing vocal was recorded on the SM58 just here. It's got an on-off switch and goes directly into the Mackie there. It's really easy for me to panic and put the vocals wherever I want around you. Use the full stereo field when going direct like this. Wouldn't be so good for live. I want to put everything a little more in the middle for live so everyone gets a bit more of everything. Um, but in headphones here, it works really well to pan things around. Mm. Let me see what my nylon's saying. Recorded on the, the Les Paul, this one you can hear. It's got a little bit of juice coming from the multi-pass delay from the HX effects. Again, I need to look at these levels, but I want to use the same multi-pass on this nylon, so let's see how that sounds. Bring in a beat. Track two of the RC300. Gonna start bringing up the filter on what's on the RC505 now, and there I've got the rest of the beat. Here we go. Okay, that's nice. Got a delay and a reverb going on over here on the GT. Whatever the up delay is, I can't remember what I've done there. I'll need to go in and investigate. And we've got a chorus set up over there and a few other tricks and treats. We'll experiment later in the session. These sessions are made up of parts, by the way, so it'll be session four, part two, three, four, five, until we figure out and I've given you all the information you want. 
if you want it. I'm just picking it out there. It's a fly on the wall experience. Some of the sessions will be great, some will be crap. And the most will be averagely pretty good, hopefully, if I don't waffle too much. So I'll just shut up. Getting my lyrics right at the moment. I just want to feel the melody and I know the words, but uh, let's see what happens. Just gonna give myself some chords. Yeah, I want something on that reverb or something, but we'll see. the melody, roughly some lyrics. Let's see what happens when we bring this filter up. A beat back in, we'll get into a chorus. Or a different. Oh, I'll introduce a new chord. Yeah, so it might be a bridge. to work on it. It feels quite good when I'm singing on it already. Uh, either that or I'm mad and this is really shit. But we'll see how that pans out as this goes along. If you have been subscribing, thank you so much for your support and interest. I appreciate the earlier sessions. Can't have been easy. Hopefully they get a bit easier from here. Um, yeah, and hope you're well. Take care. Bye.